If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Nikki and today's video is gonna be a quick one. We just made a trip to Aldi to grab some things because we haven't been there in a while and so I thought I would do a quick Aldi haul. We also stopped at Sam's Club before but I'm not even gonna show that stuff. We already have it in the fridge outside. It was just a few things I needed for produce and my bakery. So if you enjoyed this video please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel and let's go ahead and get started with the produce. So all we really got from Sam's Club was I got another bag of the bell poppers. I got a bag of honey crisp apples. We got some uh, flour and some butter for my business and that was pretty much it. So I'm not showing that but from Aldi we needed some more romaine lettuce so we just grabbed some of this. Nothing really new for this. We just have been using it for Adam sandwiches and for bowls but we also might have tacos pretty soon. I think we're gonna do a taco night and that is perfect. We just dice up some of the lettuce for that. Then I got a bag of Brussels sprouts these are like really tiny so I might not even try to cut them but we have been just roasting these in the oven and having them as a side and it's just a really good side to have that's really filling especially with turkey burgers and like potatoes or delicata squash or something we just love it and I've mentioned before I had never tried Brussels sprouts until this past like year and a half and I love them they are so good it's so easy to just add a little bit of seasoning a little bit of oil and really make a different taste every time but always really good okay then I got these green beans, which we usually just get canned green beans when we eat them, but I made the fried green beans for the air fryer video and we used the rest of the green beans we had left and just made those in the air fryer as well later in the day with some olive oil and some seasoning. They were such a good side. I could not believe how good they were. And so I just got this bag. This is pretty big, but I think I might just make the entire thing and then maybe even try to use it as a topping on a bowl because I think that would be really good. So. I got these and we'll probably just end up air frying them again. Like I said, I just used a little bit of olive oil spray and a little bit of different seasonings and it was so good. We forgot to actually grab cuties for Adam at Sam's Club, so it worked out that they had them at Aldi, so we just got these. These are a lot tinier than normal, so these will probably be kind of sour, but he uses these for work. You'll probably take like six of these a day now. Probably four or five, probably. They're tiny. I needed more red onions. I just used these for a bunch of different recipes and because I got more peppers to make my pepper mix, I'll throw some onions in there as well. Okay, so then we needed a few other things. We just ran out of panko, so I saw they had some just regular panko breadcrumbs. I just like to use these mainly for like turkey burgers or meatballs if I make them. And I use pretty small serving that I don't even really track it when I put it in the turkey burgers, but I had to grab some panko. I needed more garlic salt, but they didn't have any regular just garlic salt. So they had this, which is garlic salt and parsley. So I figured that would be fine and that'll be flavorful for different meals. And then I also needed some minced onion. I just finished that off, so I grabbed some of this and then Adam grabbed this I didn't know they sold this at Aldi but he wanted to grab this he said he likes to put it on mango which I know is really good but who knows it's just another seasoning for me to use okay then we get this every time we go to Aldi this is their oven roasted turkey breast it is super flavorful and it is two points for the serving which is two ounces what I like to do with this is I just like to cut it up and put it on wraps like we make a really good turkey BLT wrap with this sometimes I'll cut up the whole thing and leave it in a baggie in the fridge and Adam can make his sandwiches out of it it's a little bit more like filling and satisfying than just like regular thinly sliced lunch meat like he likes to get so this just tastes a little bit more flavorful so we like this I got some ground chicken this this is the kind I usually get the big container from Sam's. I don't know why I didn't do that today, but we were just running in and out. So I'm glad they had this at Aldi. I haven't made chicken burgers in a while, so I was just gonna do a big batch of that. That's why I got two of these. And again, when I make the chicken burgers, I just do them the same as my turkey burgers. So I take the ground turkey, I throw in an egg or two. For that, since it's two pounds, I'll do two eggs. I'll do a little bit of panko, and then I pick a different seasoning every time so that we kind of mix up the flavor of the burgers. And it really has helped to switch between the ground turkey and the ground chicken for the burgers because it is such a different taste and texture. Uh, the chicken burgers are a little bit juicier but they also kind of seem a little bit more greasy so sometimes I just like the turkey burgers instead and it's just good to mix it up. Then I grabbed some chicken tenderloins. I'm gonna be making shredded taco chicken out of this so what I do is this is like one and a quarter pound. I'm just gonna cook it all at once on the stove in a frying pan and then I season it. I usually just put a little bit of salt and pepper on that. Then I'll toss the chicken once it's cooked in my KitchenAid mixer and throw a packet of taco seasoning in and it is so good. And it's just such a convenient way to shred the chicken. It's so easy and then we have leftovers as well. So we'll use it for that meal but then there's usually a good amount left over. 
I wanted to grab some more imitation crab because we've been eating a lot of different poke bowls and stuff like that. So this entire packet is 275 calories or nine points. So we would probably split it and it'd be either a four or five point serving, but we really like our imitation crab. I needed some more diced tomatoes. I use these mainly with like Mexican dishes that we make. I haven't been able to get them from Trader Joe's lately. They haven't had them. They've just had the diced tomatoes with the green chilies. So I just wanted plain ones because that's what I like to use for soups or like I said for even like tomato sauce. Sometimes I like to add that to it. If we're making like a pasta sauce, I like to add some diced tomatoes also for different Mexican dishes. So this stuff is so good and it went down in points. I think it went down by half because I think it used to be four for the serving. So now two ounces of this pasta dry is two points or 180 calories. It is 24 grams of protein. So for the whole box, it's 10 points. So last time we made this, we split it and it is so much pasta. It's so filling. But like I said, it's so that serving that we made when we split it in half was 48 grams of protein and five points for the serving of pasta. So it is so good and honestly, I like it. I like being able to eat in volume like that and it's just really filling. It doesn't make me feel bad after. And so this is their edamame spaghetti. But because of that, because we like that so much, we decided to try this one today. So this is their black soybean spaghetti. So it's actually black. I've never had black spaghetti before. I feel like it's gonna look like a plate of worms. <laughs> Adam picked it out. But anyway, same kind of nutrition. It is for two ounces dry. It's 180 calories or two points. It's 25 grams of protein and 11 grams of fiber. So that's what helped it with points, I think, is that it's got a good amount of fiber as well. And again, like I said, it's just a good option to make a filling pasta dish. And it almost, thick, at least with these, it almost kind of reminds me of like ramen noodles. It's like a thinner, noodle but so good if you put a good sauce on it and have a meat with it it's really good I've never seen these before these are their chicken and vegetable dumplings they're like mini wontons so we like these I'm actually just gonna open them to show you guys they I think they're gonna remind me of like the bibigo if that's how you say it because they're tiny oh these are yeah these are the same size so they're just like these tiny little wontons but these are perfect when we make fried rice and then some type of chicken and then we just throw some wontons on it and kind of mix it in and it is so good it adds so much to the dish and it kind of makes it more like even Chinese takeout. It's just really good. So we like the Bibigo ones and we thought we should try these. So these are the Aldi brand. It is 230 calories for 13 pieces. So the serving size is a good amount because it's they're like the mini ones, but it's 230 calories or six points for that serving. And I don't know, we're just excited to try these. Usually I'll just microwave them because I kind of like them when they're more like soft and kind of like boiled or steamed, not really crispy. We've also made them in a frying pan and it is really good when they get crispy. So. We have a whole bag here. We'll probably do it both ways and see what we like better. So we're out of Ezekiel bread and we didn't go to any stores that had it. So we decided to try this. This is probably pretty similar. It doesn't have like the seeds on it like Ezekiel does, which I kind of like about it. But this is a sprouted grain bread. It is 70 calories for a slice or two points. But then if you have two slices, it's three points. So we'll use this to make sandwiches. Uh, we might make like tuna melts with it. I think that would be really good. That's what we were talking about doing. So just needed more bread because Adam also makes sandwiches for lunch every day. Okay. So then we're finishing up with some dips, which Aldi is like one of the best places to try different dips. They always have such good ones. And so if you guys don't know if you're new to my channel or I haven't talked about it recently, my favorite tzatziki is from Aldi. I was actually really upset because they only had one flavor, which scares me. I'm thinking they're probably not going to have it much longer. So this isn't even my favorite flavor of the ones they offer, but this is the cucumber dill tzatziki. They also have like a Parmesan one and an artichoke one that I just love. But anyway, this is for two tablespoons. It's 40 calories or two points. It's a Greek yogurt tzatziki, so it is lower in calories. And I just love to use this stuff for my Greek bowls. It is the perfect sauce. I usually weigh out two or three tablespoons and that'll be my serving on the bowl. Then we found this new one that we hadn't tried. This is a cauliflower dip. It is roasted chili and pepper jack. For the serving, it is 60 calories or two points. And I don't know, we're just always looking for new dips. We snack on dips pretty much every single day. Midday, we'll just come in here, have a few pretzel crisps with different dips. And so we like to mix it up. But anyway, Adam's favorite dip at Aldi is their buffalo chicken. This is his all-time favorite buffalo chicken dip out of every buffalo chicken dip. So he grabbed two containers of it. This is just the Aldi brand. It is 80 calories for two tablespoons or three points. And this is just his favorite. It's got blue cheese in it, so that's why it's not really mine. This one kind of has chicken chunks, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this one has bigger chicken chunks and it's got the blue cheese. It's more similar to the Trader Joe's where it's a little bit like liquidy, but he loves this stuff, so. 
we had to grab some of that. That wraps up everything from Aldi. This was, like I said, a pretty quick haul. We didn't really need that that much. It's just nice to get some more veggies as sides for meals, get some more meat to have in the fridge because then I'm more likely to make different meals. So hope you guys found this helpful. And if you guys ever have any suggestions from Aldi, I don't go there that frequently, but I do have my favorites from there. So if there's anything I'm missing that you guys grab every time, let me know in the comments because we're always looking to try new things. So if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel and we'll see you next time.